In this short demo, I'll be showing some different MFA examples in the Linux environment, using a second factor at critical times, such as login to servers and when elevating privileges to run a sensitive app, can help assure the identity of the user and help stop attackers, bots, and malware in their tracks. So here I am at the CentOS login screen. I'm going to log in using my test user MFA test at centrify.vms, so it's actually a domain account. I'll enter my password, and then behind the scenes, we're going to be communicating with the authentication service to authenticate me and to fetch the appropriate second factors. You can see them listed here. Let me choose the third one, SMS. And that will send an SMS message to my enrolled mobile device. And there's the message. I'll click on that message to open it up. I will click on the URL and it goes to a website where I can approve or deny. Clearly, I want to approve at this point. So I'll tap the approve button. Let me now just get rid of the phone and I'll hit return to complete. And I should be logged in. And there we have successful login using a second factor of authentication. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate MFA on privilege elevation. So ordinarily, as a user logged in with least privilege, I wouldn't be allowed to edit the sudoist file. As you can see, I don't have sufficient permissions. However, I have been granted a role that allows me to elevate privilege. But further, we've wrapped multi-factor authentication around this. So if I now try and elevate, repeating that command with dzdo in front, we're off now authenticating to the Centrify Identity Platform and we pull down a list of second factors. So let's choose a phone call this time. This is Centrify. Please complete your authentication by pressing the pound or hash key. You have successfully authenticated using Centrify. You may hang up now. Goodbye. Okay, so with that done, I will hit return to complete the process. And as you can see, I'm immediately granted access to edit the file. So there we see the example of using MFA during step up authentication within the login session. So that concludes our look at Linux or Unix MFA for standard login and for step-up authentication.